Hello, hello. Right, coffee, lovely. I've got something I want to share with you. And it's something that happened this morning. It happened a couple of weeks ago. Now, so I'm only trained guys in the 40s to get back in shape, okay? And what they say is, you know, I want to lose a few pounds. I want to get stronger. I'm not as fit as I used to be. All of that sort of stuff, which is cool, right? So then they think, like, right, hello, Sarah. I saw you earlier, by the way. Um, or was out running on a Wednesday, you love it, it was a bit windy this morning, you can tell by the hair look. Um, anyway, so guys in the 40s who want to get back in shape and they think like, right, so all I need is an exercise program to get me there, right? And it's like, that'll help, however, if it was as simple as that, everybody would be, okay? So, the hardest thing to do is to keep going. People say the hardest thing to do is to start and all of that sort of stuff, it's not, because in my experience of working with these guys, they get to a point where they're like, right, right, I need to do this, I need to do this, and they've had enough. So they've thought about starting before and not, whereas where they've got to is the point where it's the easiest thing to do is to start. The easiest thing to do is to start, because they've had enough. They've had enough, especially, like I say, if you're in your, if you get to 40, 42, 43, 44, and you've been thinking about this for the last 10 years, and you go, do you know what, I've, I've finally had enough, and I'm going to do it, right? Which is what happened to me, okay? Now... It doesn't stop there though. It doesn't mean like, all right, so you go and do a, a, an exercise program and then you're away. So I'm running it um, every month. I'm running a 28 day online challenge for, for guys, Ditch the Dad Bod, okay? And the guys on that are great. They, they love it. They love it. They're on it and they're like, this is fantastic. They check in every week. They're putting putting their weight into the nutrition system. They're putting the... the um, the, the guy's on it at the, at the moment, one of them's lost eight centimetres off his waist. I think he's lost five or six kilos. There's, the guys are just are setting their targets for the next one, which starts on Monday. You know, so they're all fired up and ready to go. And they'll all stick at it for a month. They'll all stick at it for a month. But then what happens? Then what happens? Who's that? That looks like... Uh, is that Steph? <laughs> ah, it is you. Hello. How are you doing? Um, yeah, but then what happens? What happens at the end of that month? Okay. And it's... This is where, this is where it gets really hard. Because you've got the motivation to go for it. You've got, like, you're right, it's four weeks or whatever. I'm going to start this new program. I've got this four-week program. So, hello, Steph. So, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. And you'll stick at it for four weeks. And then you come to the end of the program. And then you're like, right, well, what do I do next? And they say, like, I'll do it again. Right? But then it's not got the same kind of feeling. It doesn't feel like, right, I'm going to do that again. That's brilliant. I'm going to smash it, which is what people say, isn't it? And then, or, and then suddenly you get a bit tired of it. You get bored of it, okay? I'm writing a book about this, actually, which is going to have a program in, but it's going to be based on principles rather than anything else. So therefore, it's going to show you the process of how to keep this going and keep it progressive, because that's what it's got to be. It's got to be progressive. Progressive. To keep you interested, keep you motivated, it's got to be progressive. And progressive isn't just about doing more or using a heavier weight or whatever. Because... What happens there is, this is where motivation runs out, which is where I'm getting to the story about what happened to me this morning. This is where motivation runs out. And you get to the point where you're like, it's too heavy, I'm too tired, it's too hard, I've got too much else on, right? The other thing people say, I haven't got time. I haven't got time to do this, I'm a busy fella, okay? But then all of a sudden, they'll have four weeks to do the 28-day challenge or whatever, or find a four-week program. They'll have the time to do it then to get started. But then at the end of that, all of a sudden, they haven't got the time anymore. And it's like, well, you did have the time. So where's that time now gone all of a sudden? You haven't just got busier or whatever. Or even if you have, so what? You still stick at it. You might do a bit less, but you stick at it. And then when the times, you can't be that busy all year round. So the times when you're less busy, that's when you, you step it up a bit. Okay? This is how I work with myself. This is how I work with my guys online. Okay, I, I, there was a story on Monday I said about someone who's been missing their sessions and stuff like that because they were busy. But it wasn't because they were busy, it was because they'd lost it up there and they just didn't want to do it anymore. So, me this morning, I'm trying to get to my double bodyweight deadlift. I was in the gym, I had another go at it. It, was, it. it all fell fine, couldn't pick the bloody thing up the floor. It was stuck to the floor, okay? And then I started thinking, so I finished my session, which was horrible. It was awful. It was, I hated it, hated it. But I did it, because it's, it's my program. But the problem is, my program this month is quite intensive. So I'm tired. I'm really tired. And what happened was, I was kind of like, I need to pass this double bodyweight deadlift thing to get my, um, I need to do a couple of other things as well to get my uh, strong first qualification. 
And I just like started think questioning how much it meant to me. So I was like, you know, I might, I might just change it all and start doing something else because I'm not that bothered about passing the SFL, which is, which isn't true. It's not true. But I started to tell myself this, right? And this will happen. This will happen when you start a program, four week program, six week program, a body transformation program, whatever, right? You'll get towards your goal. You'll get this close to it, which is where I'm at. I'm this close to it. And then I'm like, actually, do I, do I really want it? And that's the big thing. And yes, I do. Yes, I do. And guys out there, you do as well. Otherwise, you wouldn't have started. Okay, like I said, the easiest thing to do is start. When you've, had it, when you've finally had enough, you're like, right, I'm going to get started. That's an easy thing to do. The hardest thing is to keep it going. Okay, I've made some notes on this. This is how important this is. Right, so I was like tired. So my program has been intensive this month. So what I've done... I flipped it round, okay? So I was like, right, am I bothered about the SFL? Do I want to pass it? Do I want to do that? No, I'm not bothered. And then it was like, actually, yes, I am. But the problem is, if I carry on the way I'm going, I'm not going to get there. I'm going to be too tired. So I've got one more week of this program left. So this is, this is I've got it all scheduled in. I've got one more week of this program that I know of, right? So I'm going to be tired. And I know that. I'm going to be tired next week as well. But at the end of that phase of the program, I'm going to take a massive step back. Okay, because this is the other thing. This is the other thing. When people think they're losing motivation, that think, I just need to do more. I just need to do more. You probably need to do less. I'm going to take a step back. After next week, I'm going to take a step back and make it make everything easier. Hello, Kev. Make every, I'm going to make everything easier. Okay? And the reason for that is because I'm tired. So I want to... I wanted, oh, that was Johnny. Sorry, I thought that was Kev. It was Johnny. The reason for that is I'm tired. So I want to... I want to take a step back and get get back my energy, okay, rather than plough through it. So, this is where this is where it comes into. Sorry, I'm just looking at my notes there. This is where it comes into, and I've had this with my guys online when people go on about mindset and all that sort of stuff, whatever that means. But mental energy, right? Actually, keeping. It's, it's not even keeping the motivation. It's just the mental energy to know what works when. So if you've pushed it too far, take a step back. It's as simple as that. And that works for anything. Because think about it when you're at work or whatever. You, you know, you do, you, you'll, you'll have loads and loads of stuff on. You'll be doing a big project or whatever. And then at some point, you start to get sick of it and you hate it. And then you think, right, I don't want to do it anymore. So then you don't give it as much attention as you want. Or you don't feel like you can do it as well. Um, and everything, and the quality drops off. Okay, it happens with everything. So just take a step back for a couple of weeks, a week, two weeks, a month if you need to, then go back to it. And then what happens? You get more done in a shorter space of time. So you'll get more. So if you take a step back for a couple of weeks and then go back at it for a couple of weeks, you'll get more done in that four weeks than you would if you were just pushing at it for four weeks. You'd probably get less done. Okay? So. The other thing about this is, people think it's easy for me doing all this fitness malarkey because uh, because I do it for a living. However, I haven't always done it for a living and I've, I've n I have never find it easy. I never find it easy. This last month has been dreadful. It's been absolutely dreadful and it's, 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 it's making me want to give up. However, I know that's just temporary. That's right now. So I know that. So I'm just going to plow, I'm just going to, I'm just going to not plow forwards. I'm going to take a step back and keep doing what I need to do, right? Keep the guys online happy, keep the guys in the park happy, all of that sort of stuff. Keep delivering to them. And this is what I say to them all the time as well. We did a session yesterday, which they were really tired after, and I was like, imagine if we did that all the time. They wouldn't be coming anymore because they they'd all be injured and they'd all be knackered. Whereas it was like, right, we've tested you out there. You've done really well. Now we're going to take another step back and carry on getting you fitter and stronger. So that's what it's all about. It's just being able to have a progressive program, if you want to call it, which you can call that for a fitness program, or a progressive um, strategy, map, roadmap, whatever, for any project or anything. Anything you're working on in work, relationships, fitness, anything. That's how it's done. And that's what's going in my group as well. But anyway, there we go. I hope that helps. Talk soon.